our last question is what are internships really like? That is a very good question. And they are very different for every internship. Not, I don't think one internship is exactly the same. Um, I think it's, you know, with my internship, I went in every day and I sat at a table with one other intern and we just did like research on competitors and we did their social media. Occasionally we would go down and we would talk to the people that were, they had a thrift store downstairs. So we'd go down there and interact with people, try to get like quotes from some of the people in there being like, how do you like the store? But other than that, it was like the same thing every day, which is why my internship was an okay experience. Um, I think the kind of internships where it's like different every day, they're always throwing new things at you. It's like, that's the best learning experience, at least for me, I think that's how I learn best. It's just like seeing what all the different parts are for the job at once. Speaking, I like being chaotic, <laughs> sometimes. You can tell that just from your demeanor. Can you? You're very chaotic. <laughs> Obviously. But yeah, I know some jobs like, like mine is more research based, so it's just being on a computer, but some jobs they throw you right out there and they're like, okay, contact like these lists. Yeah. I'm focusing more on like public relations marketing because that's what I'm familiar yeah. with. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's very different for other fields, um, but like for marketing and public relations, like they will have you contact like medias right away. They'll be, they'll be very open about giving you jobs and like getting a lot of responsibility in these internships, which is awesome. Yeah, it's interesting. Yours are kind of like they like slotted you into a job sort of thing. Like um, all the ones I did were like much more like structured. They were because they were for college credit. They were built around like kind of being like pseudo classes. So like did you mean it? Uh, I, I did game design, oh. so I was in like communication Very essentially. Much nailed it um, <laughs> so all of my internships were more built around like all right like today like you're gonna do like you'll have like a base level amount of work to do but then it was peppered in with like you'll meet this person like learn about what they do so like some companies do like really structure and build like a whole internship program of like trying to teach you stuff and like get you interested so it really depends for sure on what company and how much of a program they have versus hey we have some stuff that needs to get done and there's no one else to do it yeah. that's you like also, if that ends up being it, and there's the stereotype of interns get coffee and make copies. If that's what your internship is, leave. <laughs> just straight up. Damn. Leave. Oh. Leave. It's unpaid. Leave. It yeah. is unpaid, especially if you're just getting coffee and making copies, that's leave awful. and report them to whatever higher power you can. Because that's not how internships are supposed to be. They're supposed to be a learning experience for you. To that's what people think jobs. I do now. I'm a marketing assistant. That's what people do. People will be like, oh, so you make copies. I'm like, I'm sorry. Is I don't even know how to use the copy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to be like, fair, when I was a legal assistant, 90% of what I did was making copies, sending faxes. Well, that makes sense. I did not have to get coffee from my boss, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anyone that had to go out and get coffee from no. their boss. No. That's, Thank God. <laughs> that's a, a myth from my experience. And if it's not your experience, I'm sure it's out there somewhere. I'm sure it's yeah. somewhere, and at that point, report them to whatever higher power you can, because that is <laughs> yeah. it is no one's job to get coffee. Maybe a PA, un, like a personal assistant, right. under the right circumstances, where that is in the job description for a barista. But <laughs> <laughs> if it's not in your job description, don't yeah. just be like, uh, what am I? What information am I gaining for this? Oh, we're going. To, or try to twist it like, oh, we're going for coffee to discuss this position. Great, I'm so excited. <laughs> you yeah. just kind of throw them out there. Yeah. In general, if anyone ever says the phrase like, oh, you're here to like pay your dues, like I would be very cautious of that. Like of like, oh, what does that actually really mean? Yeah. Like, is that falling into that like trap of stereotype? Um, I think it all comes in like the interview for the yeah. internship. So you yeah. should definitely have an interview for it. You can like tell so much from that interview. While well, like you may be nervous, you may think they're the yeah. ones that are like you know, evaluating you, you're doing the same thing to them, trying to figure yeah. out like what they're gonna do, how they're gonna help you. You know, is it gonna be like more of a hands-on, like you're gonna be with me, walk me through things, or are you just gonna like throw me at things and expect me to know how to do something? Yeah, which goes about. back to like, don't just accept the first yeah. opportunity that comes by, you know, make sure you, that's the right yeah. decision. Especially with your first internship and they don't like offer you any guidance going in, 
like you don't really know like you've been to class and yeah. you've read the books but you've never done this work in person like they should and in general be more guidance. work is different from every situation like every every job is different every company runs things differently even if even if it's the same exact thing so you run our social media but that could be a i mean that's an entirely different um can of worms on the opposite side of the company who would be if you if you're doing party regardless so they're trying to get me to flop so i do college express and social media and they try to get me to do kind of let's do and it's like a completely different voice exactly. <laughs> and that's so that's you know if your if your first internship is at a nonprofit and then your second internship is at a corporate company corporate company um is more corporate related then that's completely different situation so regardless of whether you've had an internship before they should still have some sort of training for you yeah, I think asking that question of like, what do you guys see your interns doing? Or like, yeah. what is this going to look like? Um, oh, I even remember what I was going to say too, is uh, <laughs> using LinkedIn. This is like one of the only times LinkedIn is useful, but like it is, is finding people who have been interns at yeah. those companies or like alumni in your school yeah. who have done something similar, like asking, reaching out to them and asking like, hey, like, is this internship worth it? What did you get out of this sort of thing? Like. I've been like I've had people reach out to me about my past internships and it's been really nice to be able to say to them like this one was super worth it like talk to this person and like try to get this kind of experience or like steer them away from it and literally be like hi like I don't think it was worth your time like this is only yeah. one time LinkedIn is like yeah. absolutely helpful. And after talking to that person you could like yeah. if you they worked at a company that you want to get an internship at and you had a good conversation you could use that That's as good. a Actually, yeah. to get in there yeah. yeah you now know that person because you bonded over that yeah. internship yeah for sure also Glassdoor is great because they allow you yes. to put up reviews for sure. um, and those can be anonymous reviews so then you get a gauge for different companies um, and see number one even if they pay their interns because their interns might put up their salary right. sure. going back to that number two um you get to see not just an intern's perspective but a whole office perspective so if it has i think they do five star ratings on glassdoor uh if it has like a two-star rating mm -hmm. why is it because <laughs> one what do they do yeah it, it, but yeah. also look at the number of reviews too so like take it with a grain of salt like you do with any sort of review company so if you look at yelp and there's one it, it's two stars because one disgruntled customer gave it a two-star review and that's the only review <laughs> so like look at the issues at hand do they say that you're they're overworked does one person say they're overworked or does the entire company say that they're overworked what do they talk about the work-life balance and all these different things so look at reviews on glass or i think indeed also um has reviews too mm. yeah and that goes all the way to like when you start looking for your first jobs like i've always thought that it's better to find a company you're interested in than a position so like i know internships are a little tricky because it's yeah. just blank intern but like definitely like if you can find a company you're interested in sometimes you can cold email somebody and like create an internship opportunity mm -hmm. like that's a real far stretch but like if you're really gunning for something and it's like a local company and they have a good glass door review yeah. it's like sometimes you can cold email them and be like hey like i just want to do an internship and especially if that happens like you said with linkedin if you find a school alumnus yeah email mm -hmm. them on linkedin and say hey i noticed that you work for this company i'm interested in working there you can even just do an informal interview with them oh, and yeah. they might end up having you work for them which would be a plus um <laughs> extra credit <laughs> yeah. extra credit for that yeah. and they could even like talk to their bosses and be like hey this girl i've been talking to you she mm -hmm. seems really talented can she be like my intern yeah. and like if it's an on they could make it a non-paid and they'd be paid yeah. position but like that's like pretty easy for companies to do and even if they have an opening that isn't posted yet so just constantly network um so that you get these connections and like I don't want to say pump those resources, but like keep in touch with them. <laughs> Strategically, <laughs> that's like like tactfully keep them in, in mind. Keep, I keep guess. in contact I mean, with them essentially. Like don't once you number one, once you've gotten whatever you wanted, don't just abandon them. Don't yeah. ghost them. Yeah. Um like their posts continue. on LinkedIn. Yeah, like Send like a LinkedIn. yearly email being like, hey, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I am I'm friends with one of their bosses on Facebook and she follows me on Instagram and we like each other's photos and mm -hmm. And every time you do that, she's like, I remember she existed. Yeah, cool. I say if you message someone on like LinkedIn and they don't answer you, maybe like a week or two later, message them again, but then cut yeah, there. Don't <laughs> yeah, you're not. That's it. Yeah. No, like, hello? 
be there. Yeah. Yeah, don't be I obsessive. see your online. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. That never gets talking. Also, if you're going to be interacting, I know I just mentioned social media, with being friends with my old boss on, on Facebook and Instagram, don't be aggressive with people on social media. So, <laughs> especially if... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I saw from your profile that you worked at a company I enjoyed. Would you DM me? Yeah, <laughs> like, pretty much. Just, mm -hmm. you know, no. I mean, like, especially social media, it's like a lot of people have public profiles and things like Instagram. But I find for me, the thing is that if I'm going to add them on any sort of social media, you want to have interacted with them in the past. Um, if you're fo like following companies, obviously you want to follow them on social media. But like for me, I, I knew my boss in person. Like I spent a summer working three feet from her. So like interacting on social media isn't as weird. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like it's somewhat less weird. It's somewhat less weird. Like I had a friend and it's she not would, like, go to way. interviews and she would look up who she's interviewing beforehand and then go on social media and like a friend request them. So that I gave, she's like, it gives me an in for my One interview. Step too far. But don't friend request it's creepy. them. Yeah. But do research them. Yeah. Right. You can research, yeah, but don't hit that. Yeah, because it is. Just, they're, they're gonna know that you were. Here's the thing. All up in there. I mean, <laughs> they they look at your social media stuff. Interviewing I for bet. this job. But imagine like, if they yeah. followed you before the interview. Yeah, like, no, that would be weird. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, I, yeah, for this position, I was doing something. Claire, Claire was like, oh yeah, you were on. No, she didn't. She didn't add me or follow me. But she was like, all right, you were on the dance team, and I was like, I never mentioned that in any of my interviews <laughs> and I was like oh she looked at my social media because that's what people who are hiring do yeah. on a completely different note speaking of social media make sure it's professional like keep it professional keep things that you don't want your boss to see private like you know, it does Google always. search on yourself yeah and make sure there's nothing that you don't want out there yeah, yeah. I think it's also fair to say that a lot of internships involve you running social media. So Most I guess of them at this Be point. aware of that. Yeah, like if you are the kind of person who doesn't care for or like social media, like be very <laughs> careful about it. You'll still probably have to know what it is because um, yeah. boomers don't. <laughs> right. It's, it's like traditionally like if the copy and copies thing was like work that senior people didn't want to do like social media is the new that like it's, i don't like most senior people don't yeah. want to be doing that i don't think so. it's even that they don't want to be doing it it's that they don't know how to do it true and yeah, for that's the new you guys process. for us it's just second nature to us mm -hmm. we know how to post how to retweet this like i said when i worked for the league they were like we think we need to get on twitter how do we make an account mm -hmm. and i was like oh i have a twitter i don't really use it but <laughs> Yes, I have to teach you how to use Twitter now. Yeah. Um, so it is that, funny to see because, you know, I run the social media and so I talked to my boss, Megan, and to her, like, Twitter is the best social media. And that's, like, what she uses. I don't use social media. I, <laughs> <laughs> you don't use social, social media, media at all. <laughs> I don't use Twitter. Yeah. Like, personally, um, I don't even really use Facebook that much. I use it more. Uh, but it is funny to, like, see what they know, what they don't know, and like watch that progress. Because yeah. we do have like a lot of age ranges in this office, so you can kind of see that. Yeah. Going up to like Megan Del Sandro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, or a lot of people, a lot of people at this company think Twitter's the thing, and um, it's, it's, it's a thing. It's, it is for Just, sure. It's a thing. thing. It's not the thing, though. Apparently TikTok's a thing now. Tick, tick, TikTok <laughs> is, one of the things. My little sister, she was 16, I guess she's not little. Rip Vine. I think TikTok every, is a thing. Yeah. every person Vine. who is still watching the video totally just closed the tab. <laughs> <laughs> if you're still watching, I'm sorry. We're old enough that TikTok is a thing we don't understand. I understand TikTok because it's Vine. Yeah. It's it's Vine without the six second thing. Yes, they but do. I thought they it was karaoke. <laughs> I thought it was karaoke. Not all of it. It started as karaoke. Oh, okay. yeah. It's more than that. Okay. <laughs> like, my sister only has Instagram and TikTok. She doesn't even know what Twitter is. <laughs> I'm going to have to hire an intern to run my TikTok now. Yeah. yeah. That's, gonna, that's what I've learned. <laughs> well, if you need to know, apparently. Now hiring. <laughs> we, 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 we need help. <laughs> Show us how to TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they do. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We don't understand this thing. Tell us. <laughs> yeah. That is actually a, a lot of it, though. That is, though. Yeah. yeah, it's like you're 
you'll learn a lot in your internship. The people you're working for will also learn a lot. That's why a lot of interns do social media is because their bosses like don't know how to do it. I just remembered I helped the CEO of one of my internship companies buy like a Chromebook because we had to see what it was. And I was like, that one, he's like, sick. Like that was like a really weird interaction for sure. <laughs> Thank you.